you already know I got some bangers for you today. I got two long-term holds and I got one easy money play that could very well graduate into a long-term play. So now we got to talk about something first before we get into it. So if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. A lot of y'all getting the fear of missing out. One day is Zemetica that's running up. You missed the boat. You in the comments crying. No, don't do that. There will always be another play. Sit back, talk to yourself, tell yourself this. There will always be another play. The next one, Jag X. That runs up. You missed the boat. You know what? Tell yourself this. There will always be another play. Next thing you know, BNGO. You see that running up? Don't chase. There will always be another play. Next thing you know, all of these plays is running, running, running. There's going to be another play and another play and another play. And then... Don't get caught up in these easy money plays because you know what? You could get a little bit of riches playing in an easy money play, but think about the big dogs, the people who are super rich, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, all of these other kind of big business people. They have wealth. Why? Because they invest into long-standing growth companies. Now, they start businesses and they do all kinds of things like that. So what you got to do is focus on building your wealth and don't get caught up in the easy money plays. So what we got to do today is we got to get some real strong, heavy hitters that have a lot of potential to be something in the future. So now remember, there will always be another play. And I always tell you to diversify your portfolio. We diversifying that portfolio today. So let's get straight to the point. Subscribe to the channel. And remember, don't invest in the companies you don't understand and that you don't believe in. Because if they dip, you're not going to buy the dip. And then you're going to sell low. And you're going to be right back here crying to me. And I'm not having that. So let's get it. First one on the list is Beam Global. Now, we got into this one back in November. And then, you know what? Let's talk about it. Who are they? Whenever you invest into a company, you got to ask yourself this. How are they comparing to their competitors? And what problem do they solve? So now, let's talk about it. Not only do they have solar power charging stations for EVs, they also have the fastest deployed and potentially most scalable charging stations that exist. Why is that? Because all you have to do is just drop it off. It's not connected to the grid. So if you drop a power station off from Beam, all you need is just a place where it can fit and a place that it can get a good amount of sun. And then that's it. So this is super scalable and then it's resistant to a power outage. So if the electric grid in the city or wherever goes off, Beam will still be online. Beam will still be online. And according to some research that they did, power outages cost U.S about 200 billion dollars a year and this happens sometimes with natural disasters and all kind of things like that so then they solve that kind of problem but let's say that you don't believe in beam let's say you do not believe in beam let's see who does google mcdonald's bmw the united states uh the united states government these are all customers of beam and on top of all of that beam has no debt they have four years worth of cash on hand they have no direct product competitors and they have a broad spectrum of their customer base, including the government, like we already said. And on top of that, on top of all of that, last but not least, they have the potential to 20x as the EV takeover occurs. Now, this ain't going to happen overnight. This is a long term play, like I was telling you. This is how you build that wealth up. You can't stay in easy money plays. You want to have some fun with that, but you got to get some strong growers in your portfolio that have a lot of potential to be crazy in the future. So now, let's see what the big dogs is doing, aka the big institutions. Are they buying mostly or are they selling mostly? What are the big dogs doing? So according to Nasdaq.com, as of September 30th, 24 institutions increased their position, bringing in over 800,000 shares and five institutions decreased their position, selling over 29,000 shares, which means almost 30 times more shares were being bought than being sold by big institutions. Let's get one to the big dogs that actually bought it. Vanguard is the second largest asset management group in the world, and they bought 88,000 shares. Now they have 200,000 shares. And UBS Group, they sold out of this one, but they had 350 shares. They sold it, and now they have 1,100 totally. Currently, Beam is $70 a share at the time of this recording. It may be a little bit more. It may be a little bit less by the time you see it. Now, they're down 1% on a day. They're up 23% on a week. And they're up 1,400% on a year, which is comparable to the same year that Neo had. Let's keep it going. 
Three stock analysts rated this one, and all three of them unanimously said it was a buy. Let's keep it going. Price targets, 90 on the high. 90 on the high for the price target. On the low, they got it on 30. And on the median, it's 56. So, you know what? Let's set our strike prices on this, because I know y'all been looking for some strike prices, and you know what? We got a strike price today, baby. Now, for this, what is our first strike price? If we see it now to the 65, depending on your risk tolerance, because I know some of y'all got different risk tolerances. So, now to 65, if I see that, bow, I'm putting my first 100 on it, baby, and then, we gotta set our next strike price, our second strike price, we gotta pull it back some more than we usually would. Why? Because the stock price, the share price right now, is so much higher than the median price target that it could pull back potentially. Potentially, that don't mean it will, it means potentially. So now, where we gonna put our second strike price? We are gonna pull it all the way back close to the median. Now, we are gonna put it at 55. If we see this at 55, we put in our second, ooh, we put our second 100 on it, bow, bow. And then, if we see it hit, 40, and you may never see this in your life. You may never even see 55 in your life. But we see it hit 40, we putting our last 100 on it, baby. Bow, bow, bow. And then, when do we exit in beam? We exit in beam when the sun stopped providing Earth with beams. Other than that, we staying in beam. So now, next one on the list, next banger. We got Romeo Power, ticker symbol RMO. Now we got in this one back in the day, not too long ago, but back in the day when it was RMG, right before the merger. So, okay, what do they do? They create advanced batteries for electric vehicles. Now, their batteries have significantly more energy density than all of their competitors. And they're not competing with like a Tesla or like a Neo or anything like that. What they're doing is they're making them for delivery trucks and vans and vehicles like that. So now they're in their own, they're in their own little space with that. Now there are some competitors, but they have a higher battery density than those competitors. That's what sets them apart. So now, what we want to do is this. Let's look at what the big dogs is doing because now we got a chance to load up on this one. So 13 large institutions bought into Romeo Power for the first time, buying 3.5 million shares. And six large institutions actually sold out of Romeo Power and they sold 400,000 shares. The first big dog to buy this one, real big dog, is BlackRock, which is the largest investment institution in the world on the whole globe. And what did they do? They bought 1.6 million shares. And then Mint Tower Capital, they sold out. And they sold under or over 200,000 shares. And currently, they're $19 a share. They're down 0.5% on a day. They're down 8% on a week, but they're up 92% on a year. Okay, now we got two stock analysts who rated this one, and they said, that is a buy right now, and they said this one is going to 40. Now, I looked at the trading volume, and the trading volume is significantly down. Significantly down. So that means you got a chance, you got a chance, and this is not financial advice, to get in and actually just grow steadily with this one as it grows with the EV sector. This one ain't gonna just take off. Remember, we are talking about building wealth here, not an easy money quick play with this one. Okay, so remember this. I'm like the coach. I write up the play, but you got to run the ball, and you got to execute and follow through. So here we go. Let's do our next strike price on this. So if you got $300, and remember, you're going to either scale up to your income level or buy fractional shares. You got to make it make sense for your own situation. So now, here we go. Between now and the $18 range, we see that? Bow! We put our first 100 on it. None of this is financial advice. Keep that in mind. You see it hit 15 Bow, bow. That's the next one. We put our next 100 on that. And then we see it pull all the way back to 10. All the way back to $10. Bow, bow, bow. We put our last 100 on that, baby. And then we riding this one out to the promised land. All right. Now, with this one, you got to be patient. Remember, this is about wealth. This is not about a quick flip. This is about building wealth and getting your footprint in to a good sector. And then riding it out to the promised land as the sector and the total market grows. Now, when are we exiting this one? We're not gonna exit this one. This one is a long-term play. This one is a long-term play. Now, we got a bonus. This is our easy money play. We got a bonus. Now, this one, I posted this one on my Instagram when I knew that it was gonna jump a little bit. So now, you saw that, woo! I hope you saw it, I hope you follow me on the gram. I'm gonna post it right here so you can see where to follow me on the gram for that. So now, we got Caster Maritime Inc. Ticker symbol CTRM. And again, as soon as I saw that one, I posted it on the gram. I was like, oh, I think this one might be the one. So now, their trading volume is 10 times higher, and it may even be higher when you see it, 10 times higher than in the recent past. 10 times higher. 
Now, this one could easily, so right now, they're 29 cents at the time of this recording, but in the near future, they could easily go to 60, easily. But remember, with these hot plays right here, this one could just as easily pull all the way back to 15 cents. So it's 30 now, it could go to 60, but it could also go to 15. But the trade in volume is really, really high. So that means there's a lot of interest there. Okay, so now I want you to invest. But remember, if you invest into a company like this, make sure that it's with money that you are willing to lose, aka maybe it's some play money, but you don't want to put the house on this one. But again, this one could totally take off. So you got to be smart and don't play like you're just trying to throw money away. So here we go. What are this company or what is it? It's a Seaborn shipping company founded in 2017. So they're a pretty new company. And how they go is they ship dry bulk cargo like iron ore, steel, fertilizer, sugar, grain. And they recently did a direct offering and they raised $26 million in cash and they sold 137 million shares at 19 cents each. But that's already in the past. That's done. So now they got this. What are the big dogs doing? So Goldman Sachs, they actually sold 41,000 shares of this company on November 13th, but another company called Renaissance Technology bought 900,000 shares on that same exact day. So this one, what is the strike price for this? There's no strike price for this. This one's too hot and too volatile, so support lines don't really make sense in this case. So we gotta do strike days, we gotta do strike days. So let's say you wanted to get some skin in the game and you got some money that you're willing to test out and you're willing to lose. You do not wanna put money in this, don't put the house on this. So here we go. This is how you play this one. Let's say you are Weeble with us and you could get into the pre-market at 4 a.m. because these are when these things usually run up, right? These are when they run up, so make sure you get on Weeble with us. I put my link in the top comment so you can get into the pre-market with us. So this is how we're going to play this one. You got three strike days. This is how we're going to do it. The first one, if you're getting it tomorrow, this is how I will play it. You got to put in in the pre-market. You got your first hundred, you put it in the pre-market. Boom. And then you're going to wait until Friday in the aftermarket and then put your hundred on that. Bow. And then you got a whole nother hundred dollars. So it might have been doing this. But if you believe in this company and you want to get in, you're going to wait until the pre-market again on Monday because then you could probably catch that run and then you're going to put it on that. Bow! And then that's the last three strike days at specific times. Okay, so now this is a shipping company and they ship grain and steel and iron ore and all these kind of things. So this business is always going to be needed. It's always going to be needed. So this company has a lot of potential. But remember, potential is not Proof is potential, so do your own research on that. So since we know they got a lot of potential, you gotta think of this. They do something that's always gonna be needed, but does, that does not mean that this is gonna be the company that's doing it and getting paid to do it. Here we go, we got our comment of the day. And our comment of the day, man, shout out to you for letting me know about this, man, because this one, this one touched me a little bit. So, he said this, I don't have $100 to even put into a stock and hold, but I've been listening to your videos and I'm working my way up. Thank you for your high energy and being upfront with everyone. God bless. Now, I know this world is tearing a lot of people's lives up, taking their jobs, taking their family members, taking their health, all kind of craziness. So the fact that you are putting the time in to work on yourself and you didn't give up even after how hard life can be, I wanted to just say shout out to you, man. I, I respect you and I admire you for that because you didn't give up. Now, a lot of people take L's in this life, but like somebody said in one of my previous comment sections, they said you gotta turn an L into a lesson. You gotta turn an L into a lesson and that's what you're doing. You learning so you can become the best version of yourself. You're not trying to be him, you're not trying to be her, you're trying to be you and you're trying to be the best version of you. So shout out to you, let's go. Put some rockets in the comments to show my guy some support. And you know what else? Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. And if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Hit that Weibo link to get into the pre-market with us. I love y'all. Take care.